welcome back. So, if you are a makeup enthusiast, makeup lover, makeup addict, such as myself, then you already know that the Sephora VIB Rouge Insider Sale is coming up right around the corner. And so you probably already have your list ready to go for what you want to buy. But just in case you're not aware, <laughs> yes, the Sephora VIB sale is coming up very, very soon. As a matter of fact, it starts this weekend. Talk about waiting to the last minute to do a video. But yes, it is coming up very quickly. And I wanted to just go ahead and throw my little two cents in, give you guys some suggestions just in case you're wondering Gosh, the sale is coming up. What should I buy? What's some good products out there that I can grab and get a little bit of a discount on? That's what I'm going to share with you guys today. Now, y'all have my girl Bridget to thank for this video because I wasn't going to do one. I was like, you know what? It's too late. It's too late. And she was like, girl, if you don't get in there and make a video for your people. So, y'all have my girl Bridget to thank for this video. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. I don't want to be yak, yak, yakking too much like I do because I have quite a few little suggestions for you guys that, you know, you can check out if you want to spend a little coin and save a little money. Okay, so first item I want to talk about is the Tatcha Primer, okay? This primer is an excellent high-end primer. If you want to kind of really treat yourself, do something nice for your face and for your skin, for your makeup prep, the Tatcha Primer is excellent. I do actually have the large size myself. I was blessed with this large size from my girl, Lily, and I thank her every day for it. I had a sample of this that I got in one of my monthly subscription boxes and I fell in love with it. This stuff is amazing. It's really just silky smooth. It really lives up to the name, the Silk Canvas Primer. It's silky smooth. It smells really nice and it just creates a nice base for your makeup before you put your foundation on. It just creates a really, really nice, just creamy base, but it's not wet. As you can see, it's not wet, but it still feels moisturizing, but you can definitely tell that it is a little bit blurring, a little bit mattifying, and I just love the way that it makes my skin feel before I put on my foundation. It does help to create a nice smooth base for your foundation, as well as helps to prolong the life of your makeup so i would definitely say if you're looking for a really good luxury primer to try this out especially when you can save a little coin okay okay next since we're talking about primers i do want to talk about the urban decay and this is the primer potion now i really really like this stuff i actually won this for the first time in a giveaway and i have repurchased it since but this primer potion is an excellent eyeshadow base. It's not creamy. I don't like wet, creamy eyeshadow bases. That's just my preference. And so I really like the fact that this base is just very opaque. And it's like, it turns matte. When you go ahead and blend it in on your lid, it's more of like a matte base. So if you're someone who prefers something like the MAC Paint Pot like I do, you'll probably like this as well because the consistency and the opacity of it is about the same. So I really, really like this stuff. It works excellent for an eyeshadow primer. I also like to use this to do cut creases. For me, it's perfect for a cut crease. You do have to use your own brush, but I like it for cut creases as well. Okay, and since we're talking about Urban Decay, I do wanna go ahead and mention the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Now this setting spray is amazing, okay? Now I only have the small little sample size that you can get for about 15 bucks. They do have the larger size, as you can see, but this stuff is amazing. It really does keep your makeup on all day and all night, okay? <laughs> So I only use this when I know I want my makeup on, like if I'm going out for a long night or a date night or something like that, 
that's when I grab this because I know that this is going to work. So if you're looking for a new setting spray, I would definitely suggest trying this out if you haven't already. I know they have some different versions now, different scents, but I like the OG original. It works great. Okay, so next let's talk about some mascara. Now this IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, this is one that I actually got in one of my subscription boxes as well. Otherwise, I don't think I would have tried it because I really don't like spending that much money on mascara. <laughs> so this is a pricey mascara, but let me tell you what I love about this mascara. It really does volumize your lashes. Whenever I use this, it gives me the falsy effect for real, okay? It, all of my regulars know I don't wear false lashes. So whenever I can find a mascara that creates the illusion, then I'm happy. So this one definitely creates that falsy illusion. It makes them nice and thick and just full. That's what I like about it. It really makes them full. It does add some length as well, but I would say it does more volumizing than lengthening. And I love that about this stuff. So this is a great purchase as well. Okay, next let's talk about a few Fenty items since we're strolling through the aisles at Sephora. Now, my favorite, absolute favorite contour when I want to use a cream contour is the Fenty Matchstick in the color Espresso. Now, this is the only matchstick that I like. I will just say that up front <laughs> to you guys because the other ones that I purchased for like my concealer or highlighting, I don't like them. They feel kind of dry and hard and after a while they just... I'm not feeling them. But this espresso matchstick for contour is perfect for me. It's just the perfect shade and it's so creamy and smooth and just the pigment is amazing. It blends out perfectly. I have no issues whenever I want a quick cream contour that I know is gonna blend out nicely and go amazing with my skin tone. This is the one that I pick up. So. I would definitely say if you want to try any of the matchsticks and you're looking for a contour and you know you're a Cocolicious beauty like myself, <laughs> try the espresso. It's definitely a great contour stick and it's lasting me quite a while. I mean, granted, I don't use it every day, but it's still lasting quite a while. Okay, next for Fenty, y'all know <laughs> the Fenty Gloss Balm. Okay, this is my absolute favorite lip gloss on the planet earth okay this stuff i love 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 it i'm almost out as you can see <laughs> so i'll probably pick be picking some of this up during the sale but this stuff while it is a bit pricey is amazing i love it it's perfect for every skin tone um it looks amazing over any type of nude lip just it gives that extra beautiful shine if you want something to give a nude lip a pop it goes with any kind of lip liner i just really love this stuff it's not too sticky i can't feel it you know how some lip glosses you put them on and you could feel them on your lips i can't feel this but this stuff is great i would definitely suggest trying this out they do have a few other shades that i haven't purchased because you know i like this one the one thing i will say i don't like about this lip gloss is once you've opened it and used it and then you put the top back in sometimes it has a tendency to push some of the gloss out so I oftentimes have to clean off around you know the lid just because some of the gloss will kind of get on there and of course that's annoying so that's one thing I will say I don't like about that lip gloss other than that girl it's the bomb and you need to try it if you haven't okay so next let's talk about some of her beautiful lip paints okay I have a few shades in the lip paint myself and these are just, she comes out with just the most beautiful colors. They're gorgeous. The ones that I have, you can see they're absolutely beautiful for spring and summer. Some absolutely gorgeous colors. The pinks, the corals, the purple, even the red. Now I was gifted a few of these <laughs> from one of my lovely friends as well. Thank you, DJ. Um, she did give me a few of these and I just love them. They go on nice and smooth. You can do your whole mouth with just one dip inside the bottle. You don't have to keep going in and out. The um, applicator is just, 
I really like the applicator because it's really easy. It fits on your lips nicely. It's kind of like a very unique shape. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but yeah, it's a very unique shape. Now, my favorite color to date is this one, and this one is Undefeated, which is the deep kind of eggplant purple shade. It's so pretty. And while it is more of a fall shade, honey, I will wear this year round because I love it that much, okay? They also have some nice browns and I think like some nude shades she came out with that I didn't pick up during the fall, but I definitely want to try those out as well. So those might be on my VIB shopping list. Okay, so speaking of pricey lipsticks, <laughs> Now, I purchased this Pat McGrath trio of some of her mini matte trance lipsticks. These lipsticks, you guys, oh my goodness, bomb. They feel like just absolute silk going on your lips. You want to talk about a luxury item where you say, okay, uh, how good can it really be? How much better can they really be? Uh, trust me, honey, these lipsticks are amazing and worth every freaking penny. Now, if you're cheap like me and you don't want to buy the full-size lipsticks, get one of the little trio packs because these lipsticks, I'm telling you, amazing. Look at that. Look at that color, it's just smooth, it's beautifully matte. I love these lipsticks. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them all for you, okay? So that is one of the shades in the trio that I got. That is the other shade. And then there's one more shade in this trio that I believe is a little bit more red, kind of like a deeper, yeah, a beautiful red shade. You guys, look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? Ugh, and just, the opacity on your lips from these lipsticks is just over the top, okay? So I have no complaints about these lipsticks. You know, if you wanna go ahead and get the little trio for $25 and then get your little discount, definitely pick those up because those are some amazing lipsticks. I love them. Okay, so next I wanna quickly talk to you about my favorite foundation currently. It is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, you guys. I love this foundation. It is just the bomb. <laughs> I love everything about it. I love the shade that I have for myself. It works perfectly for me. The coverage is amazing. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It really kind of reminds me of a more a fuller coverage version of the Physician's Formula, which I love that foundation as well. But that healthy foundation, it feels healthy. <laughs> it feels like just a really light layer of foundation on your face. It doesn't feel heavy at all. This one doesn't either, but it just blends so nicely onto the skin. It feels good. It stays all day. I mean, I had this on one day and one night when I was with my husband. I went in the bathroom. I looked in the mirror. It was like late at night, like... 12 o'clock at night and I was getting ready to wash my face, take a shower and everything. And I was like, it just, it looked good all day. So I love the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. If you wanna try a new foundation and you're kinda like, mm, it's a little pricey, but you can get a little discount, I would definitely suggest picking this up because it is the bomb. Okay, so next for powder, I just wanted to suggest a powder that I know works really well and that I really like that you could pick up from Sephora. This pretty vulgar powder. Now, I got mine in my monthly subscription box, my Boxy Lux actually. So I haven't had it that long and I've only used it a few times, but the few times that I have used this powder, I love it, it works amazingly. Now, although this is a translucent powder, to me, it doesn't have that super duper bright white look to it. It has a little bit of what I would say is a little bit of warmth to it, actually. Of course, it's still translucent, but it's not that super duper bright, bright white where you get the feeling that you're gonna get some flashback from it. 
not this powder. I love the consistency. I love how it goes on. Actually, when I don't want to use a colored powder, you know, like a brown setting powder all over my face because I really want my foundation to stay true to color, I can just lightly dust some of this on my face and it works amazing. I love this stuff. So I would definitely say pick some of this up if you are looking to try a new translucent powder that's a little bit more high end. Okay, you guys, so now let's talk about a excellent bronzer that you can pick up from Sephora during the sale. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer. Now the one that I have is mahogany and it just works amazing for me. It's buildable, so it's not like you go in and you put it on and it's like, oh my gosh, what did I do? You can just gently build it up and it gets warmer and deeper and it blends very nicely into your skin. I think with your whatever powder and foundation you're using, this color, at least for me, works very, very nicely. And I think this is a good option for a lot of different brown skin girls. I think this works for a lot of us to just kind of add a nice, warm, bronzed look during the summer and I love it. I really, really do. I mean, I've used this thing like crazy and as you can see, I still have a long way to go, but this is definitely something that I would suggest you pick up. Now also for the complexion, I wanna go ahead and suggest the Sephora Spice Market Palette. Now this is their blush and highlighter palette. I love this palette. As you can see, I really love the highlighter, but I also love the blushes in here. I actually use this dark one as a contour quite often, but this blush shade here, I love, love, love to use that. The whole palette just really is very cohesive when you use these items together. The highlighter is amazing. The contour shade and this blush shade down here are three of my favorite face and complexion products. Whenever I travel, this comes with me for sure because this is like three products in one for me. So it's definitely worth the price. It's brown girl friendly and I love, love, love this palette. The colors in here are bomb. Everything is just amazing. Let me go ahead and swatch this highlighter for you. <laughs> It's, I already got it beat up anyway <clears throat> but as you can see that highlighter is mad pigmented it is just really really pretty so anyways I love this palette I would definitely suggest picking this up okay you guys so lastly I do want to suggest one more item and it is a palette I know I know I'm only suggesting one palette because first of all I don't want this video to be forever in a day because y'all know I love me some palettes and you know everyone is going to suggest the ABH palettes and the Pat McGrath palettes because they're all bomb <laughs> but this palette is one that I love. It is near and dear to my heart. I did purchase this palette during the holidays last year and I really, really love it. Now this palette, okay, if you are one who is not too keen on fallout and the such, <laughs> if you don't like a lot of kick up, then you probably won't like this palette. But me personally, I love this palette. I fell in love with it when I used it and I've been in love with it ever since. Um, the colors are just amazing. Now it is pricey. It's 68 smacks. Okay. So it is pricey, but you do get what 28 shades in here. So, so it's not too bad when you break it down that way, you do get a lot of really gorgeous shadows in here. The pigmentation is amazing to me i love it and like i said if you don't like fallout and you probably won't like this palette because there is fallout <laughs> in these sephora pro palettes but this is definitely a very nice palette for someone who wants a lot of variety and warmth as well as some cool tones some beautiful blues and purples and it just really fits its name being the smoky jewels palette so this is one of my favorite sephora palettes and i definitely think you should check it out if you're looking for a new palette to try out and you like these shades 
I would definitely suggest grabbing this one. So that's it you guys for all of my Sephora VIB suggestions. Hopefully you saw something that maybe you're interested in or you're thinking about trying out and you can pick it up at a discounted rate, okay? So I will list all of the products that I talked about down below in the description box. And once again, thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching my video. I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!